Number three is our first type of problem where we are giving you the information in reverse. So in the previous problems, I gave you the compound and I wanted you to figure out what the percentages are. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the percentages and you need to figure out what the uh, compound, the formula is. So <clears throat> you'll notice that we have 15.8% uh, scandium here and 84.2% of the bromine here. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, make some assumptions. Now you can pick any number you want here in order to do this, but I'm going to pick the number that makes my life easy. I'm going to pick, I'm going to assume that I have 100 grams of SCXBRY, all right? Why 100? Because it makes percentages ridiculously simple. So if I have 100 grams of SCXBRY and 15.8% of it is scandium, that means for scandium, I am going to have 15.8 grams. And then for bromine, I'm going to have uh, 84.2 grams. Now again, um, grams does not equal moles, nor does it equal uh, atoms. So I can't just go ahead and put SC15.8 and BR84.2 because, again, these guys here tell you the atoms. They don't tell you um, the mass. So we've got to figure out what the atoms of those things are, or, again, moles, because moles are really just a group of atoms. So what we're going to do is we're going to take each of these guys and we are going to turn it into the number of moles by dividing by the molar mass. And the molar mass of scandium is 45 from here. There it is. There's 45. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to divide it by 1 mole per 45 grams. And when I do the math on that, I end up with 0.51 moles of scandium. Then I'm going to lather, rinse, and repeat for the bromine here, except the bromine is 79.9 grams per mole. Again, if you check it out here, there is your bromine, like so. And so, if you divide by the uh, bromine, you get about 1.05 moles of bromine. And so... Now what you do is you write your formula, except it's going to look pretty weird because the scandium is going to be 0.35 and the bromine is going to be 1.05 and that doesn't at all look right. These should be whole numbers and right now they are decimals. Well, what this is basically doing is it's telling you the ratio. For every uh, 0.35 of these guys, you have 1.05 of these guys. So let's try to see if we can't get those into whole numbers. And how do you get them into whole numbers? You simply divide by the smaller of the two numbers. So I'm going to divide 0.35 by 0.35, and I'm going to divide 1.05 by 0.35. And when you do that, 0.35 divided by 0.35 obviously becomes 1, and 1.05 divided by 0.35 just becomes 3. So in other words, it is a 1 to 3 ratio. For every 1 scandium, there are 3 bromines, and so consequently, the formula for scandium bromide is SCBR3.